Next, I'm ready to add a bitmap graphic to our file, but I want to make sure I've got a place to put it. So I like to encourage you to get into the habit of making new layers when you're adding new content. We can add a new layer to our timeline with this button right here, New Layer. I press it and it immediately puts a new layer right above whatever layer is currently being selected. It'll come in with a standard name, Layer 2 in this case, and the first thing I'm going to do is change that name to what I'm going to put into it. I'll double click the layer name and we'll change it to Photo Montage. Now one other thing I can point out about the layers is you'll notice when we make a new layer it has an empty dot and when we start putting graphics in we have a full dot. That's basically the visual difference between an empty layer and a layer that has some kind of graphics inside of it. Before we drop our photo in that layer, let's take a look at one other panel in the program. That's the library panel. In our layout, that should be at the top of our panel list over here. And if I open it up, it also should be empty at this point because we haven't put anything into it yet. The library is a place in the FLAW file where you can store anything that you can reuse. Now it's going to store a lot of media types and other elements for us. And every single FLAW file has its own library. You can see that this one is hooked up to the movie file that we're working on. Now we'll come back to this panel in a moment. Let's bring our bitmap in. I'll do that by going over to the file menu. We'll choose import and you'll notice we have two options. Import to stage and import to library. Import to library is just going to do exactly that. We're going to end up with a new media type in our library ready to use. If we choose import to stage, it'll not only import it to the library, but it'll also drop a copy right into the current layer. Now we can also tell which layer is the active layer by noting the pencil icon right up in here. So I'm going to choose import to stage. And let's go out to our chapter 2 folder where you should find a JPEG called photo montage. I'll just choose import on that. And you can see we got a copy dropped right onto the stage and it's in the layer that we indicated as active. I can turn that layer off and on just so we can check that. Let's also take a look over at our library. You can see our photo montage JPEG is actually dropped into the library. And if I click it, you can see a preview up in the top panel. Now, if you only did an import to library, you could drop a copy on the stage as easily as dragging the icon straight out and onto the stage itself. I'm just going to delete that second copy because we don't need it. So I'll select it and hit the delete key. Now that I've got my picture on the stage, we can see that the dot at the beginning of our layer is now filled, indicating that we've got something in that layer. Now another thing that layers are going to do for us is they're going to control the stacking order of the items we have on the stage. Since the photo montage layer is on top of the content panel layer, that indicates that whatever is in those layers is going to have the same stacking order. So I see the photo on top of our content panel. You can switch the order of layers just by grabbing a layer and dragging it around in the stack. Now you can see my panel is on top of the photo. Let's switch that back. Now I'd like to take these two items and arrange them to each other. And I can start that off by just selecting both of them at once. You can either do shift select or I can drag a marquee around both of them. And notice I can select both objects even though they're in different layers. We can always work with every layer on the screen that's unlocked. Now what I wanted to do was change these so that they're both the same size. There's a number of ways we can do that, but we can go back to our Align panel again and make sure you turn off the Two Stage option because I don't want the stage figured into this change. But I do want to take both of them and make them the same size. I can use Match Size in Horizontal. I'll click that. And even Vertical. And basically, it stretched both of my items so that they're the same size on the stage. Now what I really want is I want the background panel to be just a little bit bigger than the photo. So let's try something else. I'm going to deselect both items by clicking it out in an empty space on my stage. And I'm going to go back and select the content panel. You might notice over in the position and size, we can control things like the X and Y location and the width and height of the object. I'd like to set things up so that my panel is 5 pixels wider than the photo and 10 pixels taller than the photo so that we can make sort of a frame around it. Now we can change these numbers actually by just clicking and dragging back and forth. But I can also do it numerically. If I double click, I can just type in a value. And since I started with 704.2, I'm just going to add 5 to that and it'll be 709.2. I'll hit enter 
and you can see that it stretched my background. I'm going to double click on the height and I want to add 10 to that, so I'm just going to make it 238.95. I'll hit enter to make that change. And now I've got my frame just a little bit bigger. Now if I go back to selecting both of them, let's arrange them so it actually looks like a frame. I'll drag my marquee selector around both. We'll go back up to a line. And what I'm going to do is center align them to each other in the vertical direction. And I'm going to right align them in the horizontal direction. And there you can see that frame right around the edge. Now I can take both of these since they're selected. I'll turn on the two stage option and I'll right align that. So not only are they aligned to each other, but they're aligned to the stage as well. And then I'll just click any empty space to close that panel. Now that looks like a pretty good frame.